What is up, y'all? You might remember a while back, I made a Reddit bot that is intended to farm karma. Sweet, sweet karma. And I just wanted to say that the bot is back and it's brand new and it's better than ever and i'm going to show you the code in a little bit but you can see the bot in action right now and you'll notice one cool thing we're actually checking it out from a web browser yeah i'm going to show you the code in a second but i just wanted to review the last video that i made if we take a look at the video up here you'll see that now it's got a bunch of thumbs up but when i first posted this video on july 9th 2017 there was a lot of dislikes and there was two likes but for some reason something happened after 2017 and a lot of people like the video now pete v here is karma really that important to you damn bro you need a life karma really isn't that important to me the whole point of the video if you actually watch the full video is that these bots can be used to manipulate information and it could be done very, very easy as I showed in the video. It's super easy. I'm one of the dumbest people on the planet. I built a bot, governments, corporations, anybody that has desire to manipulate public opinion, they could do this stuff way better than I can. That was the point of the video. I know I shouldn't have high expectations for YouTube comments. I don't even know why I'm angry about this, but I wanted to take the bot a step further. And so I was trying to figure out if I could automate creating Reddit accounts. And it turns out that that is not easy. So I did the next best thing. I tried to buy them. I'm not gonna tell you what I did to find them. You could probably imagine what you would type into Google if you wanted to buy Reddit accounts online. I got connected with some person and I was like, hey, I just want to buy like five accounts. And they were like, we only sell in bulk of a thousand. And I was like, what? How do you even have that supply? They have all kinds of varieties with different levels of karma and different ages. And I was like, I don't really want to spend thousands of dollars on some random person I met on the internet. Can I just buy five? And they were like, no, but we'll give you two. It was the best customer service. And then they gave me free samples. If they provided cell phone service, I would switch today. So this person gave me two free Reddit accounts. The thing that really had me curious, the thing that I was really excited about when I got the accounts was to log in and see what email address that they're using because that's the only bit of identifying information that I can discover about the account as far as some insights into how it was created or, and then I got to the account and I open it up. <laughs> at mail.ru and then I was like oh, okay that that explains it that makes a lot of sense now actually there are masses of accounts being created on reddit and to reddit's credit say that 10 times fast reddit's credit reddit's cre reddit's credit credit a few days ago it looks like this account has been banned automatically so they are actively looking for this stuff and shutting this stuff down so that's great that's really good and you know what it would be super easy for me to sit here and be like this is a massive problem that reddit has to fix right now <coughs> <coughs> That was a very harsh voice to make. No, this is not something that Reddit is gonna fix. People just need to know that this stuff exists. This stuff is super easy. Anyone can buy this stuff and you need to be aware. It's happening. Be aware that it's easy. Be aware that everything that you're reading on the internet is typically not there because it's useful for you to see it, but people paid a lot of money for it to be in your face and that's the only reason that it's there so that was really the idea that i wanted to capture in the previous video and this is kind of a recap to show that this is 2019 and this stuff is still happening and you need to watch yourself anyway i didn't want to scare anyone or ruin anyone's time or be too preachy 
even though I've done all of those things in quick succession here, I want to show you cool stuff that you can do with code. So let's take a look at the code for the version two of the Reddit Karma farming bot. And this is a little different because I've made it so much easier to use. Literally, all you have to do is add all of your credentials in right here into these environment variables, and then you copy and paste all of this code into Docker for Windows or Docker for Mac OS or Docker on Linux, and then it will download, it will install everything, it will set everything up, and the bot will start running. So what is making this magic happen? We're using this tool called Docker, and Docker is a containerization tool. It creates a small operating system running on the hardware of your computer, but it's completely isolated from the operating system that you're using. And so everything is contained in here, all of the dependencies, all of the software that we have to install. So it's not going to mess up or interact with your current system. You don't have to install other Linux distributions. You don't have to use VirtualBox or anything like that. Like I was recommending on the previous video, every operating system supports Docker. Everyone has a command line that you can copy and paste this code into, and then the bot just starts running. How does it build? There's this thing called a Docker file, and the Docker file is basically instructions on what needs to be in the image and what the image is supposed to do. So you'll see we have some instructions here. We're saying that we want our mini image to be built off of Ubuntu, and then we want to change the working directory, and we want to choose the shell. And also we need to install a bunch of these tools so that the bot can run. And then we're gonna install this tool called Gadi, and this is what creates the web server so that we can run the bot from the web browser. Then we have to install all of the Python requirements for the bot, and then we're creating a SSL self-signed certificate. And this is gonna allow us to encrypt the data connection between wherever we're running the bot and the browser that we're connecting to. So this setup is gonna allow it so that you can run the bot on a server and then you can connect to that server from your home browser and then you can watch the bot while it's running remotely. And then we have the entry point and the command and this is basically just saying run the bot. So immediately when you run this container, it has to have a process that's always running. And if that process dies, then the container dies as well. So we're running a process, which is just the Python bot process, and it just starts the bot. The bot code is cleaned up a little bit. I made the bot a little bit smarter. Some stuff is easier to reason about. The learning is a bit better. I changed it so that it only learns from comments that have a 20 point score or higher because we want to learn from things that people like. So we'll learn from comments that have 20 upvotes is I think pretty good. Also, it only learns from smaller comments that are about the size of a tweet because previously the bot would learn from these massive posts that people were making and it would just jumble everything up and people would be like, ah, you're a bot. But if you have it learn smaller phrases, it tends to respond a bit better. The bot is a bit smarter, it's easier to run, and it is pretty cool, I think. Another cool feature of the bot as well is that you can have everything run through a proxy. So these Docker containers allow you to pass an environment variable which is a URL to a proxy server. And that will make it so all of the traffic inside of the container connects through this proxy server so it looks like it's not coming from your IP address. Obviously, big companies are gonna have lists of these open proxy servers if you're using free ones from the internet, and they're gonna get you pretty fast. But this just shows how quickly you can connect a bunch of these containers on your system to various proxies so that it looks like you're running a bunch of different accounts from different places even though they're all happening on your system. And that's another nice thing about these Docker containers is that you can put a bunch of stuff in environment variables. So you see, you could have multiple accounts for each of these commands here and run them, and then you have multiple bots running on your system. Another cool thing is that I changed it so that 
every subreddit that it learns from gets saved into its own database. So not only is there a main database, there's a database for each subreddit. And so if you use these, the bot will have a certain kind of personality. It will use words and phrases and things that it learned from people on that subreddit. So if you had two of these bot databases talking to each other, they would say different things based off of what they learned from those subreddits. So that is the new bot code and it's live on GitHub. And here is the happy little bot learning. So this is something that you can set up and you can try and see if the bot is going to learn things and if it's going to earn karma. Be skeptical. Know that this stuff is out there. Robots are everywhere. They're already taking over. And we're going to have to be vigilant if we want to win the war against these robots. And that's it. Thanks for watching.